Well, it's been a while. It, that Man City game feels like absolutely ages ago. And what a game it was. If you haven't already checked out that Man City video, please go and do that. I was absolutely buzzing coming out of Villa Park a couple of weeks ago. Look, I said it at the time, I really, really, really hope that can be the turning point that we need because it's been so horrible. And that Man City game, we just reacted so well. We looked like we had a plan. We looked like we had a system. And Man City couldn't cope with us in the end and we could have actually gone on to win it. Today, of course, it's Southampton on a Friday night game at Villa Park. And I don't know what to make of Southampton. They're, they're a bit of a weird team, aren't they? They're very inconsistent, a bit like Villa have been in the last couple of years. They've beaten Chelsea recently, but then again, they've picked up some really poor results as well. A lot of people at the start of the season were thinking Southampton will be there. They could be a surprise relegation candidate. I never really thought that. I think they made a few decent signings this summer, a few players from Man City, a lot of good young players. But I'm not sure. I think tonight, especially at Villa Park, we've got to be winning this one. Last season, we smashed them 4-0. It was probably Coutinho's best game. Probably Villa's best game at Villa Park last season. We were absolutely fantastic. Be interesting to see what Gerard does with the team, actually. Obviously, Watkins and Martinez have been talks about them being ill this week. Um, does Ramsey keep his position a little bit higher up in the pitch? Does Coutinho Buendia come back in? Before we carry on, it's probably going to be the coldest game we've had so far this season. It's proper, proper cold outside. So if you do want to go and get yourself some new gear from Luke1977, go and use the code MAX20. They've got some brand new gear over there in the autumn range. Gear that will keep you very, very warm on cold evening games like this at Villa Park. So like I said, don't forget to use that code MAX20. It gets you a massive 20% off. But anyway, without further ado, buzzing to get down to Villa part later the atmosphere should be really really good up the villa boys cheers to the villa boys what are we thinking today sir um i'm well, not actually going not going but you'll be watching won't you no, <laughs> no. give us a score prediction anyway um 1-0 1-0 oh, i'm gonna say 1-0 wow you? great minds great minds who's gonna be your goal scorer Name, name any Villa player. I don't know, tell me someone Den Donker. Tell me someone who's a Say 1-0 Den Donker, straight down the lens. 1-0 Den Donker. Nice, up the bill. Right then, Southampton. Um, the team's very interesting. McGinn keeps his place. Louise loses his place. Bit of a strange one. Coutinho comes back in. I kind of suspected that. Dendonk on the bench. I don't know today. I don't know at all. I'm thinking 1 0. I really want a clean sheet. I really, really, really want a clean sheet. I'll go 1 0. Ollie Watkins, Jamie Brown. Hello. What are we thinking today, son? We've got to be confident. Come on. Well, yeah, okay. I'll be confident today. Yeah, the team, as you say, is a bit weird. The breaks probably come at a bit of a weird time yeah, after, definitely. after City. I would say 2-1. 2-1. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. We've got to yeah. win. We've got to win, haven't yeah. we? You know, Southampton, they're okay, but we've got to be beating these sides at home. We recognise her immense contribution to the nation, life of dedication and remarkable service. Please now join us to observe a minute's silence in her memory which will be followed by the singing of the National Anthem, led by Laura Wright. Imagine 
shock here. Yes! yes! Move on! Again, no idea. <laughs> Shoot, dog. It's been okay, it's been quiet I think, first sort of half an hour was really really quiet. I think Villa have controlled the game 100%, midfield again has sort of been slow, McGinn has had a really really difficult game, fans are sort of getting on his back, it's just his passing and just chopping at players, McGinn has really struggled. Um, Kamara's gone off injured which is really not good, it's nice to see uh, Ramsey get a goal, we've had a couple of chances, Bailey's had a lot of the ball but he's just kind of struggling to beat his man and stuff like that. I just want to see more, I want to, I want to see it a little bit faster, Southampton really haven't offered anything really, they are struggling Southampton, haven't really had any clear cut chances, Martinez had a quiet first half, I just want to see more, I want to see more attacking impetus and I want to see more goals for sure, but it, to be honest at this point I'll just take any win in a clean sheet. <laughs> That was quite possibly the worst game of football I've watched, but to be honest, I'm kind of in two minds about it because look, we won, don't really care, we won and got a clean sheet. Shout out the defenders to I thought Mings and Connor both had a very, very good game. Um, but it was it was really dull, I think, in the first half. We didn't we created a couple of bits, the goal, I've just seen it back. Um Ramsey's in the right place at the right time, and it's nothing special. I think the keeper's a little bit unlucky. But in the second half, I was expecting us to come out and have a little bit more flair, you know, shooting towards the whole end. But we didn't really create anything in the second half. And I don't know, it's every time we were on the ball, it's just, I saw someone tweet about it, I think, I don't know who it was. But they were saying we're really chaotic on the ball and nobody really knows what they're doing. And I, I know I shouldn't really be moaning because we won and we got a clean sheet and we got over the line. But Southampton were crap. They were absolutely crap, Southampton. And we, we, they were there for the taking and we could have scored more if we actually looked up for it. And... I don't know, we were just missing something tonight and you look at the players that are on the pitch and I just think there's so much more that we can give. Coutinho got man of the match I think, I think he was better, he got on the ball a little bit more, had a shot in the first half which was decent but again we had that midfield that were playing at Bournemouth, Kamara, Ramsey and McGinn and I just think I don't know, there's just something missing there really is and I don't know why Gerrard changed it after Man City because we looked really good against Man City. I know it's a completely different game, Southampton at home, but I don't know, there was just something missing in that midfield and John McGinn again, I think, struggled. I really, really think he struggled. There's something off with John McGinn, there really is. To be honest, look, international break now. We can get, get working, a few players going away, we know that. Get working during the international break and then there's a good, good run for us now. Leeds away, first game back and then Forest of course and Forest looked terrible. They played tonight and lost at home to Fulham. So look, winnable games there, chance for real, real momentum. Leave your comments down below about what you thought of the game. I'll be interested to see what people's sort of vibe was it because I think, like I said, that is one of the most forgettable games I've ever watched. Even though we won, we did win and I know I should be a little bit more positive but I just didn't really see much to be positive about tonight. Without further ado, please do smash a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Let's try and hit a thousand likes. That would be lovely. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already on the road to 50k. Without further ado, I'll see you at Leeds. Love the bit.